Well, 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 isn't this quite a surprise, traders? Eevee, community day. Yo, that this is intense because we don't just have one shiny potential here. We're going to have the Eevee shiny. You can have Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Umbreon, Espeon, I mean, Glaceon, and Leafeon, which should be released soon as well. That's quite a lot of shinies for you to pick and choose from. Now, you can choose between Espeon or Umbreon, but you can't choose your Jolteon, your Vaporeon, or your Flareon. <laughs> That's going to be random. This is crazy, unless you've done the whole name thing already. Eevee. Eevee, Eevee. This is intense. Um, I, I don't... Let, let's go and uh, let's, let's see what we have going on here. So, forget Gardevoir. Uh, forget all of that <laughs> because well now we have confirmation here so exclusive move now that's now that's interesting you know you're gonna have to go uh, is he, is it gonna be the Eevee only that's gonna get the uh, exclusive move kind of like Pikachu because you know what are they gonna give each Eevee evolution their own exclusive move that's what they would have to do uh, unless we're gonna see like I said just an Eevee uh, exclusive move and it makes sense because they're trying to um, work up the whole Pokemon Let's Go for the Switch, promoting Eevee and Pikachu. So we have times three catch for Stardust. So the Stardust bonus is always welcome. Love that. Three hour lures, nothing new. It's going to be going down August 12th. This is Alaska time, so do not think that that's your time. That's me over here. So make sure you get your right time accordingly. So it is going to be August 11th, all right? Okay, so this is intense. This is intense. Eevee, Eevee, Eevee. Let's go ahead and take a look at some images as to what Eevee and its evolutions look like in shiny form, shall we? Okay, so here we go. You can expect all of these. Okay, they're not going to just make it so you cannot get one of these shiny. Um, all right, so let's go. We have Eevee over here. We have the one that is shiny to the right and then the, the non-shiny to the left. The non-shiny non kind of just looks like a dull color looking thing. And then we have Flareon, shiny. They're all, all the shiny variances are going to be to the right. All right, so there you go, Flareon. And then the craziest one is probably going to be, uh, I'd say, Vaporeon and Espeon. The Leafeon, Glaceon are just very mild. Same with Flareon. The Umbreon is quite noticeable, it's blue, and then you have Jolteon turning into kind of like a watered out green lime looking color. Uh, the Leafeon is brighter green, so not much of a noticeable difference, but the craziest one I would say is going to be Espeon for sure, <laughs> bright green, I love that. So which one of these do I want the most? Personally, I'm going to go for Espeon because you can control that actually, and I'm walking an Eevee at the moment so I haha <laughs> I had myself ready but it's not saying I knew what it was gonna be I'm just walking an Eevee just because I was preparing myself for something else uh, so then we have Vaporeon as well which is a bright pink color quite obviously different so uh, which one is your favorite folks this is uh, some good news right good news all right so now that we have confirmation that the Eevee is going to be the next community day let's go ahead and jump into some more news here shall we so it doesn't seem like the news is stopping for pokemon go at the moment and we have the release in the asian pacific region for shiny plusel and minin and the alolan diglett and geodude and their evolutions alolan dugtrio alolan graveler and golem we have some images of their moves so we'll be taking a look at that more focused on the Alolan Golem, which I am happy to say we have a good move set. It's going to be a bird killer. Let's just say that. Um, we're going to be taking a look at that. So let's go ahead and go over this. It's again time to get up and go, trainers. Professor Willow's global challenge during Pokemon Go Fest 2018 is fast approaching, and we're excited to see if you can top the enthusiasm we saw during Dortmund Safari Zone event. Are you ready to work together with trainers in your region to unlock bonuses for everyone around the world? Check below for when global challenges begin and end in your region. So we have the Asian Pacific, 
uh, that is actually going on right now. Then we'll go on to Europe, Middle East, and then the Americas. Okay, so that's pretty exciting. Expect to see those uh, shiny plus and mining, Alolan, Diglett, and Geodudes in the wild in a few hours. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out these images and see what we have going on here, shall we? Okay, so here we have the Alolan Diglett with its little hair strands at the top of his head. So it is going to pick up the steel type. So it's now ground and steel. And then we have the shiny Minum, which is pretty neat. We'll see that. And then the shiny Plusle. So the variance for the shiny Plusle is, um, it's like a darker red, okay? So that's what it's gonna look like there. And then we have the Alolan Graveler, all right? And it's going to be rock and electric type, but quite uh, odd, right? It's gonna be two times, four times weak to ground. So that's gonna actually be pretty bad. But at the same time, it has a pretty unique typing to take out flying types and also water types. So we'll have to see how well it's going to perform. Then we have the uh, Lowland Geodude here. So you're gonna see these in the wild. I don't think you're gonna be seeing the Alolan Gravelers. You're gonna have to evolve them or the Alolan Geodudes in the wild or the Alolan uh, Doug Trio, which we will be looking at right now. And there is the Alolan Doug Trio with Mud Slap and Iron Head. Actually not a bad move set, to be honest, if you're going up against a rock type. So uh, is it going to be like something, oh my gosh, that's gonna be super strong. It's not, it's not gonna be you know, great. It's just going to be a trophy, fun to use, silly looking beetles, Pokemon. All right. So <laughs> we have uh, the three different hairstyle Doug Trio here. Pretty funny. And then we have a screenshot of all of them side by side here. And as you can see, the Alolan Golem with uh, looks to be Stone Edge on that uh, charge move there. So we see Stone Edge for one. And then we go on here to see Rock Throw and Wild Charge. Wild Charge being the best charge move for electric attacks. And uh, its attack is on par, I do believe, with the regular Golem. So these are actually going to be pretty good. All right. Uh, as far as do you want to use this move set to go up against Zapdos? Not too much because electric moves are not going to be super effective to Zapdos. It's just going to be normal damage. Um, but nonetheless, still a cool moveset. Um, kind of curious to see if it can learn a full electric moveset like Spark or something like that. And then Wild Charge, which will make it a fantastic electric attacker. So there you go, trainers. Pretty interesting. It's funny looking, I know. But it, does, it has actually a really cool animation to this Alolan Golem. Uh, it will shoot that rock out of its... Um, back or out of whatever you want to call it it's cannon there when you tap on it it kind of like shoots it out pretty neat little animation uh so there you have it trying to keep you guys up to date on what is going on so if you're confused you're like wait i don't see them in my area because i saw screenshots i was getting you know people were messaging me and i was looking around in my pokemon go game like wait where are they then i went and did some reading and come to find out they're not released everywhere yet just in the asian pacific region so make sure you keep an eye out later tonight we should be seeing these and it should be pretty fun you know a silly duck trio which one am i most excited about well obviously the alolan golem i am uh, hopefully i can find a high cp alolan geodude evolve it all the way up and i can just have it like that because i don't plan on you know investing too much into this but hey who knows who knows Okay, and if you miss this one by chance, yes, Niantic has released this image here showing Gen 4 starters Tortwig, uh, Piplup, and Chimchar. Okay, so this is going to, Tortwig is going to evolve into a grass and ground type for its fully evolved stage. Uh, Chimchar is going to evolve into a fire fighting type just like Blaziken. And then Piplup is going to be water and steel type right on Abzul there, that little penguin. So uh, we're not going to get into how well they're going to perform. It doesn't matter right now. All that matters is they're coming. 
okay it's exciting as as it is just like that another thing people are talking about here a few comments on my videos that what is that uh latios and latias what's going on over there is that indicating that we're going to be able to drop legendaries in a gym because it looks something like that that or they're just you know reflecting on the past that oh we you know we did latios and latias raids and but that doesn't seem like it. It seems like they're going to, they're implementing things that are going to happen in the future. So possibly we're going to see the legendary beast somehow. They're sitting over here on the rocks. Then we have some unknowns. Uh, the Alolan Executor, uh, the Alolan Doug Trio, Celebi over here flying around. And then we have Mew over here uh, right above Caesar and then Ghastly inside that Jeep. So let's talk about if you can drop legendaries in gyms. Now, what is going to be the best legendary to drop? Obviously Mewtwo, <laughs> uh, with Confusion Anything, and Lugia, Ho-Oh, all those tanks. Would a Regi Ice be good? We'll have to see. This is going to be crazy if you can drop. Now, how would it work if you were be able to actually put legendaries in a gym? I think that you would need to have gold in that gym. That's just personally me speaking. It would be, you know, better. It would be a twist. So anytime you've seen somebody drop a legendary in a gym, you would know, oh, they have gold there. This is kind of like their territory or they worked hard at that gym as a reward. Because as as it is right now, there is rewards for having gold. You get more items. But it would just make it more fun if you were able to drop legendaries as well. Once again, speculation. We'll just have to wait and see. So just bringing everybody up to speed who has not seen my last video or who has not seen the tweets that have been going around like crazy, right? Okay, now I'm going to show you something that I've discussed before regarding your evolution items, Celebi, and just uh, speeding up the progress of your quests here. Um, if you don't have any of these, I highly recommend when you do get one to hold on to it because... The missions or the research required to get Celebi, one of those might require you to evolve several Pokemon in Gen 2 for evolution items. Uh, should I say with evolution items because Celebi is a Gen 2 Pokemon. And what do we see with Mew? Everything that revolved around it was usually in Gen 1. It didn't have anything to do with Gen 2 Pokemon, right? Evolve a Gyarados, catch ghost type pokemon in which you could say well that's not gen 1 well yeah it's true but it, it it was mostly revolving around gen 1 things okay so i it's safe to assume that maybe you should hold on to your evolution items so you can uh, be prepared because what if it's like oh evolve each pokemon with an, with all evolution items so you have to use your sunstone king's rock metal coat dragon scale and upgrade the upgrade would be porygon 2 the dragon scale would be kingdra Metal Coat would be Steelix, King's Rock would be Politoed and Slowking, Sunstone would be Blossom, and Sunflora. We also have Caesar here on their new image, but that could just simply be the release of Evolution Item Pokemon, and they're kind of celebrating each individual thing on this picture, but still something to take note of. Alright, so just keep that in mind, make sure you have those Pokemon as well. Not their evolutions, but their pre-evolutions. Make sure you're ready because it's going to be amazing if you're able to just get them and go. Because could you imagine, these items are not difficult to obtain, but sometimes they can take time. If Say if you have zero, you're not going to just be able to go out and find one immediately. If you're lucky, yes, but more than likely it's going to take you a while. And that's going to be one of those things, kind of like finding the ditto or having a bunch of Magikarp candies. So just make sure you're prepared and ready to go and with that said trainers i like to say thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video and i'll be catching you all very soon